Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about the, how the Bootstrap View is working with the alert tag. It's called B Alert, and it's, it's typing very easy. And then I will be showing a little bit difference about how it can work with the alerts and how it's working, how it's displaying, how it's hitting, and what's happening if you click on it and something like that. I try to explain everything about the alert. If you think it's missing something, please make a comment below and I will think about about to create another video about the alert. And uh, that's it before we are starting. And I really hope you want to stay uh, with me here today and learning about the bootstrap view and how the alert in bootstrap will work. And uh, I hope you want to subscribe to this channel and support me. Just click on the thing in the right corner below and then hit the like button and share button so you can share with your friends. And don't forget to edit for your playlist. Thank you, and let's begin the, the movie and about the, the code. I think the first we want to, to gonna do is creating the, the basic alert. So just uh, hit the B alert, and then we have the alert here, and, and we will say default uh, alert showing up here. And we can try to save it without to use the show tag. And I will show what's happening here. You can see we have nothing. I can just reload and nothing happening. And that's because we need to add the show, not the V show, but just the show tag. And then we can go back for the for the browser and you can see we have the default here, alert showing up here. So now we basically have created the first uh, default alert. And I'll show how we can play a little bit about uh, different uh, variants. We have we have a lot of variants to that, but I will not show anybody. I'll just show at a, just a couple of those, and we can just say the variant here, variant, and say danger, and we can say variant um, warning, and then we can just say warning here, warning alert showing up, and danger show up here, and I will save it and going back to the browser, and you can see we have three alerts now. We have the default, it's the blue one, it's called uh, primary, I think. Uh, and then we have the danger, it's the red one, and then we have the warning, it's the yellow one. So now we have three different um, alerts with bootstrap, but we can do much more. We can uh, define it by click on it, and uh, and then showing and hide it, and that's what we want to do now. I think we want to do it with the succeeds. I'll create a new button here, and call it succeeds. Not this one. Yes, and here we go. And we will say succeeds. And what we want to do now is to program it uh, to, to the show button and say succeed show. And we just add it here and scroll it down. And we have a data here and we say false. As default, we say false. That's what we want. I need to return here, and uh, then we have to click here. We say trouble. Uh, I need to see how it's spelling. Trouble succeeds. Uh, alert. That's what we want. And we're scrolling up and create a little bit link here. And say span. Click this one and toggle succeeds alert that's what we want and uh, the only thing we need is just saying uh, this show succeeds show it's the different from the other one I know you can do it right away though but I love to have it inside the function that's my way to to handle what I'm doing so I need six seats here, and we need an S here, and we need an S down below here, and then we are spelling correct. Let's go back to the browser and test it up, and we have it here. Click, you can see it's showing a load up here. If I click again, it's removed. So right now I can just click and it's showing up and not doing nothing. And let's go back to the editor. 
let's say you want to have it a little bit more nice i will copy this so we have two of the same the one i will just add the fade fade is meaning it's coming nice inside and then it's, it's popping up uh succeeds alert you up here with fade without fade and then just say style cursor pointer and then let's going back for the browser one more time and you can see here if i reload it okay it's not having normally i would say it should have a cursor but you can see the first one is just coming up and disappear when we do it the second one this one will fade and it's look more nice when it's uh, going away and that's a little about that and the next step we want to speak about it's how we can make a, a dismissal a little cross you can click on so it's disappear that's what we want to, to talk about now I can see we have spelling this wrong so let's go back to test it first you can see yeah you have it in hand and just click it away that's nice and then we are back here and I'll create a new one here and say uh, be alert and for this we want to say show and why and should be danger because this is a it's one we want to go away and it's very simple so I'll say it's a danger alert with uh, this miss simple it's a very complicated word to say i think for me let's go in for the, for the browser and see what uh, happening you can see now we have the cross here if i click on it's going away and that's perfect that's working let's go back for the editor and uh, the next alert we want to to copy here the next danger alert we want to to work with should having a, a callback when you do this uh, this is this miss sable with callback this was a callback and um, just say this one this and what we want to do now is make the, this message call back and I just copy this word. We have the call back. And going down for the methods and create it here and say console log. Thanks for triggering the this message callback yeah i'm getting better to spelling the words out and then we go into the browser again you can see this is with the callback if i just say this one and say console you can just say this one and i'll just put up so you can see something and if i do this one it doesn't uh, react on anything if i click this it should having thanks for triggering the dismiss callback so that's how you can creating the, the call back and I think that's it for now and now you'll know a little bit about uh, how you can work with the alerts in the bootstrap view and I really hope you enjoy remember to subscribe to this channel you can do it in the right corner below and uh, hit the ding of course and hit the, the thumbs up like button I would be appreciated if you like this channel if you have any questions please make a comments below and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can and of course don't forget, uh, forget, I think that's the real word, to share this video with your friends and put it to your playlist and tell anybody about my channel. Thank you so much to have you today and I really hope I have you in the next video. Hope to see you. Bye.